What's this I see over there? Oh my god! It can't be! Holy cow! It can't be! No way! Oh, it is! I've never seen such a thing before! It is unbelievable! Unbelievable! Oh my goodness! Oh no, it's just a fly, never mind. <laughs> when I was a kid, I used to call Willy Wagtails Wiggly Wagtails because they wiggle their waggy tails. <laughs> when I say kid, I mean up until around 18, and even to this day, like, come on, it is more fitting. If those birds were people, you would not be naming them f***ing William. For those who don't know what a Willy Wagtail is, let me give you a brief rundown. A Willy Wagtail is a passerine bird, think blue jays and songbirds, located primarily in Australia and what could be best described as Australia's four defence platforms, Papua New Guinea and Indonesia. And they primarily feed off of insects. It gets its name Willy Wagtail because it wiggles its waggy tail. Very creative name. Yeah. I got the name Willy as part of its name is not known, but it probably involves some name William, and it's probably meant to be Wiggly. Dang up, stuck British uh, bunyip aristocracy probably stopped them convict Irish from calling it the true blue Aussie name of Wiggly Wagtail. Or Jitty Jitty. It's just the bunyip aristocracy, I tell you, it's the bloody British, bloody pom, that's what I say. It's their fault, I blame them. Why I'm making a video about a small bird like this one is because I can then gloat about the fact that I have more subscribers in this angry avian. Is it because I have an unresolved type of memories of a Willy Wagtail named Frank that I need to sort it out? <laughs> Neither of them are true, I swear. But anyways, don't forget to subscribe because then I'll have even more subscribers than a Willy Wagtail. No. I'm making this video because I was reminded of a couple of stories about these birds and came to the conclusion that Willy Wagtails are the trolls of the avian world. Willy Wagtails, I would dare say, are the beavis and butthead of the avian world. We're gonna be talking about the We'll be talking about the that we'll be talking about the Yes, we're also gonna be talking about the And and we will definitely be spending a lot of time talking about Willy Wags or Chitta Chitta, as they may be called are known as gossip makers, which is especially true in Victoria as I assume Willy Wagtails own at least several Facebook discussion pages there. I have to speak generally as there are lots of different old stories about Willy Wags from around Australia, but most of the time it can be said that they are cheeksters. One fictional tale talked about how Willy Wagtail, in the classic style of a smartass, once raced an eagle by clinging onto its back and jumping at it last minute to land first past the finish line. Honestly, they are the beavers and butthead of birds. We all know Willy Wagtails are fun, cheeky birds with an outgoing personality. But what you don't know is that Willy Wagtails are cannibalistic, lore-mongering spies. We're going deep down the iceberg now, boys. In the dreaming, the Willy Wagtail came about through a disturbing form of events. They were suspected of cannibalism. And upon their dietary plan being discovered, people who I assume were thugs from Jenny Craig, in an attempt to keep their dietary market in their corner, broke the Willy Wagtail's back and then used forbidden corporate magic known as marketing campaigns to chant the Willy Wag into a small passerine bird. Due to this back being broken and due to it being void time, which I believe was before Gough Whitlam introduced Medicare to Australia, the Willy Wagtail 
can never straighten its tail for that reason. So next time you see a willy wagtail cutely running amok in a nearby park, just remember that it's a murderous, cataclysmic menace that has been caged a foreign body under immense irreparable pain. I missed out on a fair few other stories about willy wagtails, like the time that brought a fire to the ocean for some reason. I can't remember the details, but it was a pretty epic, heart twisting saga, that one. But yes, willy wagtail is quite a bird. Reading about magpies now, certainly not using the information on birds as an escape from the crushing work that must be done on my behalf in many aspects of my life right now. <laughs> guy here. Hey, hey guys, did you know that, that uh, I'm reading a book about birds right now, right? And it's really cool, right? Because like, the, did you know that the brain size of birds doesn't actually, uh, doesn't actually align with intelligence? Because smaller birds have a higher brain density, which, which means that, uh, uh, which means that small birds can be just as intelligent as big birds. I like that story because I'm small. <laughs> Also, smaller animals have a really high metabolism, right? And that means that smaller birds have to eat, like, a lot more food than bigger birds um, per body mass because they're so much smaller and they have a high metabolism. And that's why I eat a lot of McDonald's. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, that's some blinding glasses. They're not mine. <laughs>